Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have 4 to the power of x is equals to 8 times of x and we solve this problem for the values of x. So here uh, the very first thing uh, you see the graph of both of these functions 4 to the power of x and 8 to the power of x into the screen uh, and you see here the graph of both of these functions are intersected at uh, two points it means that these two points are called the solution of this problem so now here at the last we find uh, that two points okay so i hope so you like this method uh, and now here uh, first uh, we divide both of the sides by 4 to the power of x and it will be written as 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x is equals to 8x divided by 4 to the power of x and you see here this 4 to the power of x is cancelled out by this one and we get here in the left hand side is 1 is equals to here we move this 4 to the power of x into the upsides and it will becomes 4 to the power of minus x and now here uh, we further solve this problem with the help of lambda w function and now here first we a little bit explain about Lambert W function. So the Lambert W function uh, first you see here the Lambert W function is applied on uh, this type of function if you have b into e to the power of b. We can just apply Lambert W function on <clears throat> this type of function in which we have uh, one is exponential function with base e and its exponent is multiplied by here then uh, the output of this type of Lambert W function is the exponent of e. So here the exponent of e is b. And if uh, I can give you a particular example of this Lambert W function, you see here if we have uh, w of 5 into e to the power of 5, the output of this type of function is equals to 5. So according to this w function, in order to apply this w function, first we need here uh, we need to uh, convert these two functions uh, is equals to in this form okay now here first we focus on 4 to the power of minus x and we uh, apply log and anti log at the same time of 4 to the power of minus x and it will be written as e to the power of log of uh, 4 to the power of minus x and here uh, we apply the property of log and we move this minus x in the front of this log and it will be written as e to the power of minus x times of log 4 and it will be written as e to the power of minus x times of log 4 and now we move backward and we replace 4 to the power of minus x is equals to e to the power of minus x times of log 4 so here our above equation is implies that uh, now here uh, also we move this 8 in the left hand side here 8 is multiplied by these terms when we move in the left hand side it is divided by 1 and it will be written as 1 over 8 is equals to x times of 4 to the power of minus x you see here this is 4 to the power of minus x and now we replace this value so it will be written as e to the power of minus x times of log 4 and now uh, here because we do these steps uh, be, uh, in order to make this type of function because here we apply the Lambert W function okay so uh, here you see that the exponent of e is minus x times of log 4 but here we have only x we need minus times of log 4 uh, so that we multiplying on both of the sides by minus log 4 so when we multiply both of the sides by minus log 4 it will be written as minus x times of log 4 is multiplied by e to the power of minus x times of log 4 and now you see here uh, we are ready to apply the Lambert w function on both of the sides uh, so here we apply the w function on both of the sides and it will be written as w of minus log 4 over 8 into w of minus x log 4 multiplied by e to the power of minus log 4 so now we can apply here the w function and here uh, we get the output of lambda w function in the right hand side uh, so you see here the output of this type of lambda w function is the exponent of e so the exponent of e is 
minus x times of log 4 and in the left hand side we have this is w of minus log this is 4 we write 4 as 2 square divided by 8 is equals to minus x times of log 4 and because we solve this problem for the values of x uh, so that's why we remove or eliminate this minus log 4 from right hand side so for this we divide both of the sides by minus log 4 in this way okay so you see here this minus is cancelled out by this minus this log 4 is cancelled out by this log 4 and in the left hand side we have this is uh, we write this in negative sign here minus times of w here move, we move this to in the front of this log and it will be written as minus 2 times of log 2 divided by 8 and it is divided by log of 4 is equals to in the right hand side we get only x so this is the final value of x but now you uh, see here uh, in the start uh, of the problem I can show you a graph of both of the sides and you see here our graphs uh, are intersect at two points it means that here we need to find the two roots so uh, we uh, already know about the lambda w function there are uh, n branches of lambda w function so we uh, write uh, this lambda w function as in this form x is equals to minus w of n into here we cancel this term 2 4 is 8 and we get minus log of 2 over 4 and it is whole divided by log of 4 so this is uh, this shows that the lambda w function has n branches uh, and now because if you focus in the graph of the problem we have uh, two branches or two uh, intersection points of the given equation so far uh, for in order to find these two intersection points we just replace this n is equals to 1 and minus 1 uh, and we easily get here our two roots so when you can put here uh, n is equals to 1 then you get here our first root and it is equals to minus w of minus log of 2 over 4 divided by log of 4 and when we replace our this n is equals to minus 1 you get here x2 is equals to minus w of minus 1 into minus log of 2 divided by 4 and this is whole divided by log of 4 and now in order to find the exact values of these two functions uh, then we need to uh, use here uh, any online calculator or uh, any uh, Lambert or any wall from alpha function in which you can easily uh, find the value of these uh, lambda w functions okay so after uh, exactly find the values of these functions we get our final two roots of the given equation are 0 0.155 this is the our first root of the given equation and from here we get x2 is equals to 2 only so this is the our second solution of the given equation and also you uh, see here both of these two solutions clearly into the graph of the problem and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos